In the previous part, we obtained the STL file of the bumper using the iReal M3 scanner. Today, we will proceed with reverse engineering modeling. Launch the quick surface software and import the STL file obtained from scanning. First, reduce the number of polygons to lighten the load on your PC. Next, remove all unnecessary sub-meshes and leave only the main mesh of the bumper. Then, assign a target size and fill all holes within that size. Use the Do Feature tool to eliminate all imperfections and artifacts on the mesh, including the reverse sensor cover, to achieve a clean mesh model. Manually create a symmetry plane and use the Rebuild button to auto-adjust it to the correct position. Use this plane to align the mesh with one of the system planes, and manually fine-tune the angle, preparing it for reverse modeling. Now use the proprietary freeform modeling tool to pave quad patches on the mesh surface to construct a nerve surface. Start focusing on one side, planning the layout of the quads according to the bumper's shape. Place the edge loops along the ridges and then add crease attributes to render the peaks on the ridges. Temporarily disable the snapping and extend the bottom boundary for later trimming. Use the real-time deviation to make the surface better fit the mesh. Straighten the edge loops and boundaries. Extend the surface to cover the upper part of the mesh area and subdivide the surface as required. Adjust points and edges until obtaining a satisfactory half of the CAD surface. Enable symmetry to create the surface on the other side and join them at the center line. Finally, increase the resolution to make the surface better fit the mesh. Concentrate on the quality of one half since the scan data may not be completely symmetrical. Extend the boundary for later trimming. This surface is now complete. Repeat the same freeform surfacing steps for the second surface. Mirror the surface and extend the boundaries. Ensure to check the surface quality. Apply the same process to create the third surface on the back. Every part of the bumper's surface is constructed. Now let's create the cutting surfaces. 3D sketch along the boundary under the bumper and extend the endpoint outward. Mirror it to the other side, connect the curves and then extrude them forward and backward to create a cutting surface. Create the top cutting surface by drawing a closed 3D sketch and using the fill surface command to create a surface, then extend all four sides. Mirror it to the other side and select all surfaces we've created so far. Initiate the trimming and apply the automatic trimming. All excess parts will be trimmed away according to the mesh shape. This completes the reverse engineering of the car bumper, resulting in a clean CAD model for downstream applications. What are your thoughts on the quick surface software? Let us know in the comments.